Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can actually move the whole website to a new server with different domains. If you use the uh, same domains, you can check out my editorial how to move WordPress blog to a new server using uh, using same domain without any downtime of your server. So let's get started. First of all, you need to have the backup files. So pick up your whole website and the backup of the database. So uh, I suggest you to pause this video and check out my other tutorial, which is called manually back up your WordPress uh, website. And once you've done that, you can follow this tutorial. So I assume that you did already watch that video or follow this video. And then you have the zip file and the database file. So it's depending on where you save these files. I have it on my desktop. So if I minimize this, I have this file. So what we're going to do is right click it and create new folder here. And this folder, I'm going to name it as my old site, which is WP how to site dash com and dash backup. Okay, you can also put the date, which is 22 uh, July 2014, for example, for today. And then copy all of this, hit your Alt key, uh, and then drag it to this folder. Once you see that this folder has these two files, you can move this folder to somewhere uh, safe, like external hard drive or uh, any to any anywhere safe. I'm just going to uh, trace it since it's just for the demo. And so once you have these two files, next is we're going to our browser again. And let me close this. And you can go uh, to this codec, Moving WordPress codec, which is actually worth to read. And what we need to do is we're going to uh, move to a new server and then change our domain name. And here, as you can see, it's really not recommended to uh, search and replace with the text editor because of the uh, serialized uh, string because uh, WordPress uh, use PHP and they have a lot of serialized strings and if we do only with search and replace with the text editor this can break the serialized string in your uh, website it might not be noticed uh, uh, in the short uh, in the short um, term but uh, in the long term, maybe you will find some problems and of course you don't want that. So we need to use the search and replace for uh, WordPress database script now. So we're going to click that link and it will bring us to the this URL which has the script uh, to search and replace database in PHP language. Here as you can see, we have download the 3.0 and O beta at the moment when this video is recorded or you can try the stable version. So let me try to download this uh, the version 3.0 which is still in the beta at the moment but I did try both of them and uh, I guess the 3.0 is the easiest to use. So let's click that and this will download this script to your uh, computer. So again, it depends on where you save it. Mine, I save it on my desktop. There it is, the file. It's called shirts and then dash replace dash db dash master dot zip. So next is we need to upload all these two files to our, our file manager in the new host and then the database to our uh, new database. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'm going to minimize this finder and uh, as you can see, you can read all of this and it has also picture that you can look here and um, let's get started. First, uh, in this demo, I want to move this wbhowtosite.com, which is hosted in HostGator at the moment. I want to move it to new server, which is Bluehost and into new domain, which is called wbdemoblog.com. And of course, you can use it vice and versa or using any other host. The process will be just similar. So the next step is I go to now to uh, next. I'm just going to close this to not making us confused. And uh, there it is my new domain, which is still empty. And next is we go to our uh, new server cPanel. And then here we're going to click on find and file manager. There it is. And then we're going to click on file manager icon and make sure that you have your uh, correct domain and then click on go. And this directory is empty. We're going to upload some files here. So click on upload and choose file. And first the backup of our file first open. And it may 
takes some time depending on the size of your WordPress blog so I recommend you to uh, grab your coffee or something So when it says it's complete, the next is we're going to choose file again, click on choose file button and then we need to uh, upload the search replace db file and then click on open. And it should be fast, it's a not big file and then click on back to public underscore html path when all says complete. And you should see the two zip files here, if not click on reload button. And next is we're going to um, to extract these two files but first we need to extract this because you need to see what happened if you uh, extract this uh, search replace database script click on extract and click on extract files and there it is you see it has the folder and so forth and then hit close now you see it has a folder so when we click on that folder we can see that it has a readme .md, so up one level and I'm going to uh, name this folder as anything that easier to remember so I'm going to right click and rename I'm going to ask rdb just for uh, this video purpose to easy to remember and rename file so now if we navigate to our uh, new domain wbdemoblog.com and then slash and then ask rdb and then let's hit enter and what happened and as you can see it has the uh, the script already loaded but we don't need that for now so just close that again and uh, close this again and next is we're going to delete this uh, .zip file since we don't need it next is we're going to extract our WordPress file so, so select this zip file and then click on extract extract files and hit close there it is, our files, our WordPress uh, files from the old uh, blog and the most important is that we need to delete this .zip file which is uh, which we just extracted delete that and we don't want any other people to download that .zip file so DS Tor, if you use Mac, we also don't need that okay, so there it is, now we have our files old files here, so what we need is we go back to our uh, C panel again home and then here click uh, on the find section we need to uh, type my SQL to find my SQL databases icon click on that icon and we need to create a new database and a new user here so let's do that first open your text editor so once you've done that we're going to type in on tab, uh, db name and db user and db pass from password so once we've done that we're going to create new database here we name it as wb uh, or w demo and db and some number here of course you can choose anything you like here and once you've done that create database so now we're going to copy this database name copy open your text editor again and then paste it here and hit go back scroll down and now we need to add new user so we're going to add new user here so we're going to uh, wp demo uh, some number okay choose anything that hard to guess here maybe not that maybe um i don't know 215 2014 for example and then um and then so we just use that and then uh, for password we need to go to password generator option advanced option we need to 18 and then generate password here copy and click cancel and then go to our um, text editor can paste it here for the database pass for password and then go with the character number so once we have the password we're going to copy this password uh, paste it here in the password box and then create new user and once we done that we're going to copy this user and text editor again and paste it in the user okay so once we done that hit go back and we need to add that user to the database so scroll down and add user select the user that we've just created and add to the database that we've just created and click on add 
button and here we're going to click on all privileges and make changes hit go back so once we're done with the database now the next is we're going to uh, go to cPanel home and then here going to find PHP my admin and we should see PHP my admin icon there click on that and hit go so here you don't see any tables here but if you click on databases so here you're going to select the correct database if you have more than one databases so I'm just going to click that since I just have one and make sure this is the database that uh, the correct one and next is we're going to import so click on import button there and then here click on browse your computer and choose file and we need to go to our desktop where our database backup saved so there it is and then click open and then scroll down click go so now it says that the import is successfully finished so it depends on how big your database file is and if your database is bigger than this you might use another tools like MySQL dump or something like that but I will not cover this video because it will just make uh, confused so once it says that successfully finished we're just going to log out from PHP my admin so close that tab and then we go now to our uh, wpdemoblog.com and uh, refresh it and it shows its error establishing a database connection this is because we haven't updated uh, the old wp-config.php to the um, database data that we've just created so uh, next is we go to our cpanel public underscore html path and scroll down and you will see wp-config.php select on that file and then click on edit so there it is now we need to update this uh, data so for the database name open your text editor and then for the database name we have this copy this and paste it here replace this with that new data and then the user is this delete that paste it here and for the password tested here okay so also another recommendation for your site security we need to update the secret key from the old one to the new one copy this and paste it here in the new tab and then refresh it sometimes a few times to have a new key copy this close the tab go back to your wp testconfig.php again and paste it here replace it and hit save changes and hit close now if we refresh our wpdemoblog.com refresh that our blog is um, now identical or same with the old one but this is the problem when you click on the permalink and I want to open it into new tab let's see what happened it goes back to the old domain or our old site and we don't want that we want to fix it so we want to open it and it's still uh, running to our uh, new domain so here is the search and replace script comes to work so what we need to do now go back to our cPanel again and as you remember I renamed the folder that we've just downloaded uh, earlier it's called osrdb because it's easier to remember so what we need to do now is uh, osrtp remember that and then go to our domain new domain and type forward slash on the top on the url box there and then uh, type in osrdb and hit enter and this will bring us to the script that we've just downloaded and as you can see it pop uh, it populates the uh, database name to our new one nicely here so we just need to replace and to search for something and replace with so what we need to do now is we need to copy uh, the old domain and paste it here and make sure that it has no forward slash just for the easier step so without forward slash and then your new domain which is wbdemoblog.com copy that 
and then paste it here. So we're going to replace our old domain with this new domain and also no forward slash. So make sure that it's the right structure. Okay. And leave it the database data just like it is. And as you can read, you can read the uh the site again so you can go to that site interconnected. There it is. And actually you can read the installation in use. Uh, so once you've done that, you can then go back here again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on dry run. And it basically will give you an idea which one that have to change, but it has no, uh, it haven't changed, it hasn't changed anything yet. So if you click on dry run, it just gives you an overview what you will change here. So once you click that and see what here you can view changes and uh, this is the serialized number is so this one and when you uh, use this e text editor to replace and edit this you might break this serialized uh, string. So once you perform the dry run now you can then click on live run. Click on that and hit OK if you are sure. So now, uh, once we've done that, now we've done already, so we're going to check our website. So refresh this, our new website with the new domain, and let's click that. And sure enough, it's now not right directed to our old website, which is wbhowtosite.com. So scroll down, you still have image, and as you can see in the left corner, if I hover it, the image also pointed in already in our new domain. So uh, the most important thing is now that we need to delete uh, this script. So just click on delete me there. And when it says could not delete the search slip as script automatically, we will have to delete manually. So I guess I know why, because we've just renamed the folder. So that's okay. Uh, close this tab and then go up to our cPanel again and refresh that click on reload button there and then we delete this manually. So we just delete the folder from the shirts and replace database script that we've just renamed it earlier. Click on select that uh, folder and then click on delete button and delete. So you scroll down and make sure that there is no leftover files and that's it guys. Uh, we've transferred already our old WordPress blog to a new server using different domains safely. So thank you so much for watching this video and take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>